For seven and a half years, Falun Gong practitioners in Vancouver, Canada, have maintained a round-the-clock vigil outside the Chinese consulate to raise awareness about what they say is a genocide. After a court injunction ordered the structure to be evicted, practitioners are calling for the site to be kept until the appeal is heard. Vancouver Falun Gong practitioners are scrambling to save their protest site at the Chinese consulate. We are the voice for people who have no voice. More than 50 practitioners and public figures gathered together at a rally and press conference on Wednesday, a few days after the city ordered the site to be shut down. Fallon Daffa spokesperson Sophia Bronwyn says that this site is a window for revealing the crimes against humanity committed by the Chinese Communist Party. The site sends a clear message to China and the world. Genocide will not be tolerated. Lawyer for Falun Gong practitioners Clive Ansley says that this is not a technical legal issue involving the correct interpretation of a bylaw. This is a protest against genocide. This is a protest of conscience against the most diabolical and fiendish forms of torture practiced on this planet. Many of the speakers believe the seven-year-old protest site is important because of the message it sends out. The site is a visible reminder to all Canadians, if not the world, that we can add and do stand up against tyranny, oppression and censorship, something far and far and away more important than the enforcement of a sidewalk usage bylaw. Vancouver Falun Gong practitioners say that even if the hut and billboards are removed, they will still continue their peaceful vigil 24-7. They will stay until the persecution of Falun Gong ends in China because their fellow practitioners do not have a voice. NTD, Vancouver.